Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox tutorial. And today we'll do another episode of checking out one of your guys' solar systems. But before we begin, guys, just an apology as it has been um, quite a few days more than normal since it's been a video. Yeah, it's been about almost five days now, so yeah, apologies for that. But I've just not been feeling the best and I've just been quite tired recently, so I haven't really had the time to do it. Um, so yeah, apologies for that. But yeah, anyway, today we've got two systems from Nikar to do. I haven't seen um, any systems from him in a while, but yeah, these have been on my list to do for quite a while. So yeah, special thanks to him for saying those in i'll leave a link to him down below in the description but yeah um so yeah going on to them now so yeah the first system we've got today we'll just get straight into this so it's called the smallest star with planets so i'm assuming it's the sis or the star it's almost as small as saturn um so let me go ahead and go on my sims okay so the okay just check the name so it's yeah the smallest star okay so here we go so the smallest star of planets so i'm guessing it's the eblm star i know that's the smallest or tiny star. Oh, okay. I thought he meant the smallest star as in the smallest star discovered, which is uh, this star here, the EBOM JO55557AB. 555 57AB. thought he meant that, but oh well. So, um, anyways, yeah, getting in here. So, tiny star. And this, oh, it's a pulsar. Okay. Right. I thought he meant like a main sequence star, but anyways, yeah, that's a pulsar. So, or, or a neutron star, I guess. So it's only three kilometers in size. Um, 1,034 Jupiters, though. 10K. Pretty luminous as well. So, there it is. So, orbits. Okay, so how are these orbits doing? Ooh, okay, pretty extreme orbit from that last one there. All right, anyways, first object, planet one. So, I'm guessing a lot of these will be pretty hot, scorched objects, since it is a it is a neutron star, after all. So, it'll be uh, pretty uh, bright and dangerous stuff. So, anyways, first object here, going for like a bluish, grayish sort of color theme there, a little larger than Earth, sort of like super Earth, sort of exoplanet sort of size there. So, planet one, there we go. Alright, next up we've got Planet 2. I'm looking forward to that Planet 3 with that green trail. Anyways, Planet 2 here. This one's a frozen world at 12 degrees. Okay, so may have a bit of frozen glitch uh, going on here, um, which um, kind of sucks at 12 degrees there. It takes 243 days to rotate as well, so it's similar to Venus. And it is very similar to Earth with its radius there and a little larger in mass. So there we go there. So there is Planet 2. Now moving on to Planet 3. Let's look at this. Ooh, green, an all-green gas giant. Pretty large in size as well, but look at that. I really see um, just plain coloured gas giants um, these days. But yeah, very, very nice looking nonetheless. Uh, the green gas giant there. Definitely one of the ones I always wanted back before modern was a green gas giant. So yeah, five Jupiter's mass. Pretty large. We'll get a comparison with Jupiter here. Why not? So there we go. So okay, so Jupiter. There we go. So compared to Jupiter, pretty big stuff right there. Rightio. So planet three. Very, very nice. Next up, we've got planet four. So this is a green Venus by the looks of it. So here it is here, very reflective green Venus. Yeah, look at that. So underneath, that's all it is underneath. So pretty unique colours underneath. That super crazy green atmosphere there. Only one degree, so pretty chilly there as well. So there we go. Right, moving on to planet five. Oh, and we have the purple and white gas giant. I've seen a few of these around before um, in these systems here. So there it is there, looking pretty nice as well. A little larger than Jupiter as well for mass, and then a lot bigger in radius. And then the last object of this minor system is Minor 1. So it's just a little asteroid, as we can see here. Okay, so that is all of it for the first system of today. So, yeah, pretty small little system, but what do you expect? It is quite a small little star. After all, you wouldn't expect many planets around an object like this. So you have a little small um, neutron star guy there. And we've also we'll see there's our planets. So planet 2, 3, and then 1, 5, and then this one. This is my favorite one out of them all. But basically both of the green ones, they're the top sort of planets for me out of all of these guys. But yeah, there we go. So there's our little star. So there is that system done. So now moving on to the second system of the day. So this is called the HG Micro Cluster. So let's go ahead and get onto that. So HG Micro Cluster. Okay, let's see what he's got for us in here. Right. Oh, we've got some black holes in here. Okay. So the micro center, here we go. So 10,000 sun black hole there. Very, very dense, as you can see. I mean, that's a pretty extreme number there. So um, there we go there. Right. So we've got an orbit mode, just so we can see as well. All right. So where are we heading first? Got to zoom in out a lot here. A lot of zooming out. Okay. So, oh, okay. Oh, right. That's a lot of stuff. How many objects have we got in here then? Okay, 35. Okay, so I'm guessing it's a lot of stars in here, not many planets. All right, so HG Micro Center. So we'll go to the first star now. Turn on the Hattable Zones as well. Yeah, these are really um, very, very um, far apart, all of these objects here. So how far away is this from the black hole then? So 1.59 years from... Okay, so that, no, that's in a binary with that one there. So that is a planet. So a star in a binary with a planet. So it's only two masses of Earth. So how much mass is the star? 
1.06 suns in a binary with that. Huh, that's really interesting. Yeah, they're in a binary. You don't usually see a star with that much mass in a binary with an object like this. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, you usually don't see that. How far away is it from the star? So 1.59 years. 1.39 AU away. That's, um, that's interesting, actually, having a small object like that in a binary with a star. I guess it makes sense since there's no other objects to really interfere. I mean, it's quite a big distance from the black hole. So how far is that from the black hole? Let's see if we can sort of work it out. Four, five light years, about five light years away. Damn, okay. So there we go. these stars are all light years apart. Right, so next object over here. So this has a 3.61 day orbit with something. So that's in a binary with another black hole. Okay. Oh, no, it orbits this black hole. So, so yeah, oh, no, it's not It's not a black hole. It's a um, Tray's 2B object. Probably a uh, all-black gas giant glowing hot red. So, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't absorb any light, that one. Very, very dark. Right, now moving on to the next object out here. So we've got another gas giant here. Looks like a random spawn by the looks of it there. So we've got a bit of, like, a creamish color with a bit of blue and orange there. Pretty large in size as well. Okay, so that's all the objects around HG2. Right, so we have a lot of zooming out. Right, now HG3 looks like a red dwarf. Oh, pretty cool how it's um, shooting out a flare there. Look at that. It's looking pretty cool. Nice and slowed down. So it's only running at a few minutes here. And that is an enormous rocky... Well, not a rocky, um, gas giant, sorry, in a binary there. Look at that. Oh, I'm liking the colours on that. Studio mode. Oh, I really like that. The nice, like, bright Neptune blue. Then we got the red, more of a cyan blue, like a silver sort of colour in between them there. Green, then it goes like a red. I like that. It's a nice... um. Nice taste of different colours in there. Pretty cool stuff. So there's that one in the binary of that star. That is unbelievably close to that red dwarf though. I mean, let's, let's just land on the top of cloud decks with this gas giant. Look at the star. That is pretty close. How large is this star? So 367. So it's 236,000. How large is the gas giant then? So this is... seven. Okay, so this is bigger than the star then. Yeah, you can see it's clearly bigger than the star there. So pretty. that's pretty like a pretty puffy planet, that one there. So, there we go for that. I'm liking this, though. A lot of just, like, random little star systems in orbit of that, like, centre black hole there. So, it is a cluster. He is called, He has called it a cluster, after all. So, it's pretty big in size. Right, next up, we've got HG4 over here. I wonder if there's any, like, hypergiant stars in here. So, here's HG4. Looks more like a... Yeah, like more of a... Actually, it's actually, how big is this in suns? This is... Okay, eight suns in size. Okay. Right, first planet around here. Nice red and white looking one, actually. I like that. I like that uh, mixture of colour there. It's looking pretty cool. So there it is there. Looking good. I'm liking that. So there we go for that one. Right, now moving on to the next one. Another green one. Well, green trail with a red atmosphere. Okay. Ooh. Got some climate mode on it as well. Nice red. The red atmosphere looks really, really good with the white um, ice on it there. That's looking very, very nice. Looking. Yeah, I like that. So it's an all-ocean world by the looks of it. Actually, is that land there, or is that just ice? If I just turn off climate mode quickly, is that land? Okay, so there's some land there. But looking very, very nice. Minus 18 degrees as well, so pretty uh, pretty cold there. Right, so there's that one. Right, and then last object here is this one. It's a HG4D. So it's a grey-blue sort of coloured one there. So there we go for that one. All right, cool. So moving out now. So uh, there we go. So HD4. Okay, so now we're on HD5. Right over here. This one is a lot bigger in size. Look at this one. So in suns, this is 8.2 suns as well. Actually, it's pretty similar to the last one. No planets around it. Okay. So it takes 213 days to rotate and then 42 million years to go around the black hole. So yeah, pretty big um, cluster we got going on here. Right, then next star out. This one takes 49 million years to go around. No planets around this one either. It's more of a red dwarf star by the looks of it. So there we go there. Righty-o. Right, moving on to HG7. Now, this one, I've, I'm assuming, has something around it since there's no trail around the black hole. Yep. So it's in a binary. So it's in a binary of this object here. So HG7b. So there we go. Pretty basic looking object. Is that, is that in a binary with the star? Yeah, it is. And then we've got one more object further out, HG7c. So it's an all-frozen ice world there. Right, there we are. Right, next I've got HG8. Another red dwarf. So a lot of red dwarfs in here. And then, yep, yeah, no planets around that. So yeah, I'm guessing a lot of the ones with the trails around the black hole don't have any stars but or, or planets. But we'll check anyway. So it looks like HG10 and 13 have some moon Or not moons. Planets, sorry. So there's number 8. We should be able to just hop between the stars, actually, if I just use the enter button. So next up, we're going to go to... Where's number 9? 
Is it eight? Is there a number nine? Can't spot it. Okay, we'll have to zoom out then. So there's number eight. So a lot, a lot of zooming out on this one. Okay, so there's number nine. Oh, this is a very red one. Look at this. Right, here we go. So here it is here. Yeah, pretty red. Only 14k um, in temperature there. Right. Yeah, 1400k. Right. Now moving on to number 10. This one has to have some planets around it. Right, so here we go. Right, so it's in a binary of that. Um, it's, in a, it's a binary with the green one. Okay, so first planet here. Right, another bluish um, gray object here. So number 10. Right, and then the binary object is this one. So it's oh, another one of those like nice looking rainbow gas ones. Slightly different in color to the one we saw back there, but I'm liking the blue, the red, the cyan there. Nice color combo. So there we are. There is that. All right, so that's all those guys done. So yeah, we've got a lot of binaries in here. Right, now moving on to number 11. The only blue star in here. Very large in size as well. There we go. So 1.7. Oh, that's not the biggest, actually. It's got a lot more mass on it, though. So two suns instead of one for most of these. So there's number 11. So it takes 270 million years to go around now. Oh. Right, next up we've got number 12. This one is a pulsar. I can already see the uh, spinny stuff on it. So there we go. Yeah, there you are. So there we go. Pretty big as well. Um, almost the size of Earth. So there we go. 20,000 degrees in temperature. Right, there we go. Don't see many pulsars in these videos. That's a pretty rare or rare find to have one of these. Cause, yeah, I do not see a lot of pulsars in these sort of videos. Right, now moving on to a white star out here. HG13. This one, I'm assuming, has some objects. Another green trail. Ooh, nice. There we go. Another one of those gas giants. So it looks like a red, green, and blue one this time around. Cool. So he seems to like these like red and blue mainly as the stronger colours on these. So there it is there. Going with the green trails as well. Yes, that may be one of the colours he likes a lot. So, there we go. Right, number 13. Then we've got 14 over here. So, this is actually a um, brown dwarf sort of object. A hot gas giant here. And this also has an object around it. Or in a binary of it. Another gas giant. A very small one, though. So, there we go. We're going for brown and grey sort of colour theme there. So, there we go for that. Right. Most scrolling I've done in one of these videos in a long time. That's for sure. So, um, how long does that take to go around the star? I know it doesn't say, actually. Right, next one we've got Rogue Planet 1. So this takes 2.2 galactic years. So now we're getting... This is like bigger than the sun around the Milky Way now. It's pretty big stuff. Because the sun takes about... one. I think the sun takes one galactic year to go around the black hole Sagittarius A once. So this takes 2.29. So yeah, we are very, very far away. Um, orbital period. What's the distance then? Distance from... So let's have a look. So from the black hole, this is... So this is over... Okay, so 500 plus light years now. Whoa. 600 light years. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure if it um if the galactic year is how long the sun goes around. I think it is. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, time it takes for this object to spin on its axis. That's orbital period. Oh, no, orbit is parent. So I was looking at the wrong one. So time it takes this orbit to orbit is parent. Oh, that's a big value, though. But yeah, galactic years. Does it say what that is? So speed in the graph. Ah, never mind. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how long the sun's supposed to take to go around the Milky Way once. I'm not, I don't know. Um, anyways, Rogue Planet 2 over here. Or is it just a billion years? I think it, actually it may be a billion years um, instead, actually. And that's not how long it takes to go around the Milky Way, I don't think. Anyways, Rogue Planet 2. So there it is there. I'm, I'm sure someone will correct me on that anyway. So Rogue Planet 2 there. All right, so zooming out. Whoa, a lot of light years. All right, Rogue Planet 3. Looks like the last object. Look how cool it looks um, from this distance. It looks like a dartboard almost. Right, anyways, Rogue Planet 3. Now, this is a like, very nice looking object. Look at the dark blue, the white bands. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's a nice looking one. Also with a green shell. Yeah, he must like the colour green a lot. Um, but yeah, look at that. Well, I'm liking the detail in the clouds. Look at these. Look at this like detail here. You can see like all of these like spotted areas. Pretty cool North Pole on this one. Look at that. I like that. What about underneath? Got some similar sort of patterns on it as well. Very, very nice stuff there. So this takes 10 galactic years. Oh, that's a big distance. So yeah, Rogue Planet 3. All right, there we go. All right, oh, there's one more, HG15. So this is a extremely large star as well by the looks of it. No, nothing compared to the supergiant stars. So the 15 suns, I think that's the biggest in here. So that's in a binary with this object. So a tiny little planet um, right here in an orbit with a massive star like that. So there it is there. It looks like a desert sort of like object there. All right, there we go. So is that all them all? Or is there 16 as well? We're zooming out. A lot of zooming out. 
So, yeah, very, very big zoom out. And, yeah, I think that is all of it for this cluster. So, yeah, really, really cool um, the way this is all put together, just with an extremely crazy amount of stars there. There's that super large gas giant again. That's probably the... Actually, I think that's my favorite one out of them all as well with the, all of the colors. I'm liking that. So, there we go. That's definitely my top gas giant. Top rocky planet. Let's see. Is there any um, in here? They're all mostly basic, but I think this one here, top rocky planet, that red and white one has definitely got it for me. Even more than this one. I know it does look cool, the red, but I do like that red and white colour theme, I have to say. So that would be my top one for here. And yeah, there's that spinny pulsar as well there. And obviously the black hole. Is that the centre black hole? Is this the... Oh, this is the centre, so yeah. The centre of all of this is not very large, as you can see. It's very, very dense and it weighs a lot, but not the biggest in size. But yeah, there we go. So that is it for today's episode, guys. So if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button and see if we can go for 40 likes. Also, all credit for the system goes towards Nicker, the creator. I'll hopefully have a link for him down below in the description as well, so make sure you go ahead and check him out. And yeah, I'll see you as well, guys. If you want to send in your own system, make sure to join my um, Discord server. Link in the description and send it in the upload chat there, or you can private message it to me as well. That is the easiest way to get them in a video as well. So um, yeah, go ahead and do that if you have any interest in doing that and yeah also subscribe if you're new helps on the journey to 8,000 subscribers as well because yeah we're coming up to um 7,700 now so yeah pretty cool stuff massive thank you for that and yeah that is everything guys so yeah i will see you in the next video goodbye